Welcome back to Riding Bikes in San Diego. We are here on Lake Murray Boulevard in a bike lane and we are about to head into that spot after Marengo where there is no bike lane. Um, although, you know, I guess there are sharrows which makes it a kind of bike lane, but I prefer this. And I know that this is just a gutter and paint is not protection, but when I'm on my ride, this bike lane is a place where I don't get the trouble that I get when I'm riding in the sharrows. So this is a little video um, in response to um, a video I posted a couple of days ago. And I want to preface it by saying I took this ride before I posted that video. So the comments do not influence how I ride. Um, and this is a note to the vehicular cyclists in the community and in the comments. The bike lane just ended. All that to the right is now parking. I'm taking the lane. Now, the vehicular cyclist mindset and belief is that one should be in the lane and control the lane right in the middle, and drivers behind you will be civilized and change lanes. And that's what's happening here. Um, all these drivers are able to move over, and uh, I'm in the middle of the lane. And I'm sure some people in the comments are going to come up and be like, well, you should actually be six inches more over. Because one of the things I find is that when communicating with vehicular cyclists, um, there's always a moving of the goalposts. The VCs always want people to ride bikes the way they ride bikes. And, you know, you just can't dictate the way everyone's going to ride. You can get on a high horse and say that they'd be safer if they did do that. Look at this stupid thing. But expecting everybody to be able to ride where I'm riding is not fair, okay? What about children? A child can't ride here. And a parent who doesn't have a lot of confidence riding, who wants to bring their kid to school, this is not a road for them. My central argument on this channel is simply that we need designs that keep people safe, no matter their skill level. Um, I'm going to pass that Cybertruck now because... Screw him. Also, I'm riding a bicycle that I got for free. So do the math on uh, vehicles there and, and cost and benefits and all that. Um, listen, VCs, I'm glad that you love riding, but I don't ride like you. And I think that John Forrester is one of the best um, lobbyists that the auto industry ever had. VCs, for the most part, have been one of the greatest barriers for decades to getting safe infrastructure. In my mind, mostly you all are people who love driving cars who are also riding bikes. You are not thinking about bicycling as an alternative to driving. You're thinking of it as something that happens in the places people drive. And I'm tired of fighting with you all in the comments. Um, you know, even when I agree with you, you seem to want to keep fighting, which is bothersome. Yes, on the road back there, I should be in the middle of the lane. I should be riding on top of the sharrows. But I will say that is not going to stop an angry and impatient driver. And I'll link a video right about here so that you can see that when a driver wants to use their car to menace people, they're going to do it. Now, I feel like I've heard VCs say like, well, you know, that's just something you have to deal with and that's their problem. Not just keep calm and da 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 da. But I'm glad you all are a bunch of Zen masters, but that's not the way the rest of us want to live our lives on the road. We just want to have a safe space. This bike lane, it's not great, but it's safe enough for me to drive less and ride a bike. Thanks for joining me.